Hi, I have 240 seconds to talk to you. My name is Tom Jakes. I'm a 23-year-old apprentice working in the field of electronics and automation, working to become a fully qualified control and automation engineer. I will begin by telling you a small anecdote about a friend of mine, Stephen Sutton, who inspired many people to make a positive change and inspired me to do the same. Aged 15, both Stephen and I were at school, studying and enjoying life, when out of the blue, Stephen found out he had bowel cancer. He was, however, not someone to shy away from a challenge, and he faced his cancer head on. He went on to have surgery and chemotherapy multiple times, and one year later, he was finally in remission. But three years later, the doctors found a small lump in the back of his leg, and the cancer had returned. He was later told it was terminal. All of that inspired him to write a bucket list, as he did not know how long he had left to live. A quote of his sticks vividly in my mind, that he could not see the point of measuring life in terms of time anymore. He would rather measure it by the things he achieved, and I can tell you, he achieved a lot. A few of you might remember him, but you can see him here above, setting a Guinness World Record, meeting the England football team, numerous TV personalities and comedians, even meeting the Prime Minister, and drumming at the start of the Champions League final at Wembley. The reason I'm telling you about him is because he was so inspiring, and as he did to many hundreds of people, he inspired me to realize my potential. I was not an A-grade student, and I knew I needed to focus on something I enjoyed, and in February of 2014, I applied for a scholarship of mechatronics in Berlin, which was a ridiculous decision. Not least because I could not speak German, but because nobody I knew had ever even heard of mechatronics. And for those of you who don't know, it's a combination of mechanical and electrical engineering mixed together. It was just crazy. And I was only 18, and Berlin is 800 kilometers away, etc., etc., etc. It was just crazy. I remember my mom and dad taking me to one side, and my mom asking me, so do you want to check what language this course is taught in? And so I did and I found the course would be taught in German. She said, right, OK, you can't speak German, so how are you going to study? I said, it's not a problem. I will figure something out. I'm sharing this story with you because Stephen passed away in May of that year, and he gave me a lot of motivation to go out there and achieve something, which at that time, I couldn't even imagine. I got the place to study in Berlin, and I'm proud to say that I graduated the Mechatronic Scholarship and achieved a grade of 88% in a course where I couldn't even speak the language when I started. And saying yes to things which require courage will help you to become successful, because you grow much faster when you're outside your comfort zone. I feel privileged to have had a friend like Stephen, whose cancer diagnosis made him realize that life is for living. Let me share this quote with you, which Stephen lived by. Imagine if you had a bank account which at the beginning of every day got £86,400 put into it. But at the end of each day, that money disappeared. Now imagine, you would take that money out, wouldn't you? You wouldn't just let it disappear. You would spend it on yourself or spend it on someone else. You would not just let it just disappear. Well, you are given this bank account. It's not money, but it's time. Everybody in this room is given 86,400 seconds at the beginning of each day to do whatever they want with. And at the end of that day, you're not getting the time back. That's why I think it's very important to use the time as positively and productively as possible. You have to believe things are doable, even if, you might seem, even if they might seem impossible. And so my question to you is, how are you going to make the most of your 86,400 seconds? Thank you.